Heads up. I got it. I'll stay in cover. Deploying tech overload. Easy enough. I'm on it. I'm on it. Taking cover. Shield your eyes. Shield the face. I'm on the target. Firing. Watch out, flashbang. Watch for the drone. to cover enemies incoming right there <laughs> neutralizing <laughs> Climb over to get to Vizier's car. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. We didn't see anything. This looks interesting.
she's lost a lot of blood. We have to be getting close. She's tough. I'll give her that much. She's a specter. Vizier, it's over. Hey! Hey, you! Come here. What's your name? M mariana Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells too. Smart move taking a hostage. The Spectre does whatever it takes to get the job done. Yes, we do. But you're forgetting something, Vasir. I'm a Spectre too. <laughs> You'll live. We've been spotted. This should slow them down. Shockwave. I'm going. No shield. Not a problem. 
problem. I'm on it. Kill Shepard, damn it. Heavy weapons, look out. Understood. With you. I'm on it. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Spectres don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the Council doesn't have to. The Councilors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences, but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? The Council wasn't looking out for human interests. Somebody had to. Human interests? I read the files, Shepard. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps? Killing Alliance admirals who ask questions? And you're with them? Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? Uh. On my Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties, not a concern. The Seer's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll belong, if he decides to kill Farron. We won't give him time. We'll need the Normandy's stealth systems to get us in close undetected. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. What's the plan when we get there? Get in, get Farron, get out and kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Sounds like a plan.
The oceans boil during the day, then snap freeze ten minutes after sundown. The Shadow Broker lives in this? His ship follows the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. But we can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. Discharge built up lightning. Thanks for the tip. Shepard, try firing at the capacitors.
they come. Very precise. Scope and drop!
ship is incredible. It must have taken decades to build in secret. I wonder what happened to the contractors. I think navigating this storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop, even for a moment, at least the Shadow Broker would go down with us. That's comforting.
flying. Shield, you're up. signals. It's locked. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. This should slow him down. You sure that shunt is working? Illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Got more of them. Tell me you tested it. No time to talk. I'm on it. Impressive. Fire. Because of shot ready. My pleasure. I'll take the shot. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omni Gel on everything? That security upgrade made a lot of people unhappy. Look out, more on the way.
Joker have? I told you. Be right there. Be right there. Hold your positions, no matter the cost. I'm on it! Right! We're headed toward the prison block. And Farron. Understood. They're using Hold on. We're getting you out of here. No. Farron. I thought this looked too easy. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have patience. What's the point of this cage? I don't... It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't... expire. We have to shut this place down! Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Uh, uh, uh. Shepard, we really don't have the time. What do you know about the broker? He did this to me. I was hoping you'd know what he is. I never got a good look, but he's big. The guards are terrified of him. A Krogan? I don't know, but not everyone who visits his office comes back out. Tell us where to go. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to help us see.
dodge the assault. Look out! I'm on it. Understood. Just like old times. Enemy by us on the field. Bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferrin for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Ferrin betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The drill is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. It'll be pretty hard to run a base this size with no crew. They're replaceable. Your arrival is barely an interruption. Enough talk. My operations are too crucial to be compromised by a traitor. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. It's good you brought Archangel to Sony. Your friend's bounty is still unclaimed. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret, while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg, a pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing... You were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now!
I'm on the target. shield again. I've got an idea. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on the target. I'm on it. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next solar day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You... how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. 
taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems. of information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Broker's network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. Don't be a stranger this time. Come by when you have a chance. The doors are always open. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. 
With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yog. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture. And a terrifying one. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I'd be worried if he weren't saying things like that. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. 
I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? The future of humanity, as evidenced by the perfect Miss Lawson? I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Come back soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
detected an anomaly. Probe away. The experimental mechanics facility is under quarantine. Probe launched. Scans have found something. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Always. But I haven't forgotten that. Assuming you're still interested. Oh, I'm glad to hear interested. it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. for something. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonas. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than collectors or reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrett, what do you think our chances are? Honestly, the Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. 
I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources. Secure broadcasts. All organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. Are the Reapers yes. affected you? Why would they attack other machines? We are from them, outside their plans. So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? 
Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. That seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics' logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics? Yes. Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within it. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But built stations outside Geth territory in the first place. The heretics movement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. Heretic headquarters and their raids once and for all. Let's do it. Total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Shepard, are you prepared to attack the heretic stronghold? Can you give me a quick rundown the of the situation? Over time, virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshiping the ultimate... This thing is... The heretic... We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. 
What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The core is physically isolated from the network. We need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many get? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. This could be our best chance to end the conflict between Organics and Geth. Let's do it. We will begin preparations. What's this area of the ship? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There were only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. 
In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the Code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. You know about Knights Errant and Samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. I should go. Of course. Shepard. Have a few minutes to talk. There is nothing left to speak of, Shepard. What's the matter? I failed to save my son. He was my last chance to leave the world better than I found it. But you are leaving it better. A lot of bad people can no longer hurt others. Asana Danches alone is a net positive. Reducing evil is not the same as doing good. And those acts were done as a tool of others, not as myself. The only task I took of my own volition was to stop Kolyat. I failed. Have a few minutes to talk. There is nothing left to speak of, Shepard. What's the matter? I failed to save my son. He was my last chance to leave the world better than I found it. But you are leaving it. Reducing better. evil is... The only task I took of my own volition was to stop Kolyat. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. <laughs> 